Seven days ago, my followers dared me to hike up a ski mountain with all my gear and snowball back down. I decided to take it a little bit further. This is how it went. <laughs> so, this snowboard, board boots are gonna have to go in a bag. So I guess effectively it will be I don't even know how I'm going to attach this on. Oh wait, I know, I know, I know, I know. I've had a change of heart. <laughs> the short board leaf. You know what that is? The final product a snowball bag, sustainable. So here we have a surf leash. Not sure about the knot, but we'll see. We've got a tea towel for extra grip. Um, a slightly smaller bag than I originally would have liked. And I also can't get the bindings off my other board, so I'm having to take my bigger board. And that's it really, it hits me in the back of the ankles if I step too high. But apart from that, we're out of here. I've covered a little bit of ground, but I've just come to this path, which is not ideal when you have this massive thing above your head. Getting pretty warm, which I'm pretty grateful for, but it is just, constant uphill obviously i'm walking up a mountain but uh the views are beautiful apollo's pushing on i've decided to uh start a stopwatch when i left home because um they said it's like four and a half hours to do it so obviously i want to be a bit quicker than that um and i don't use an apple watch anymore just because I was over obsessing over calories and things so yeah I really just I guess do it for me now um, rather than the numbers apart from speed always got to worry about speed <laughs> our first milestone really you can see like the change in the trees which means we're getting higher but <laughs> we've got a long way to go starting to feel it now in the altitude a little bit but we're uh, setting a pretty good pace oh look at this too our first bit of snow on the ground the highest I've ever been is this point there's a lake there and I've basically got to get over the other side of this mountain and up All means absolutely nothing to me. My calves are just blasted. We've just been non-stop uphill. Super, super intense. My ankle's really sore too, but uh, nothing a bit of stretching and R&R &R won't sort out, I'm sure. But the air's getting really thin. Like, we're just walking at a pretty average pace and hitting me. Go. Note to self, the next time I do a mission like this, root. Because I actually could be nowhere near where I actually need to be right now, which is kind of daunting, but. Part of the adventure, eh? It's scary, boys want to marry. Looking in my pity is a picture. Look about it, baby, you can see it. 
But if you want, I'll be my it's a little. I just don't know where to go now. Good boy. I think within like the next mile and a half we should come to the bottom of the slope. Can you see that? Wow. I've been really trying to keep positive thoughts about the backpack but it is ripping my shoulders apart. I never check the weather because I just don't think it should change anything. But for some reason this morning I checked and it said 80% rain. So I said to myself, you've got to do it anyway, you shouldn't have looked. And instead I managed to just flip the thought and try and just manifest some dry weather and sunshine and not worry about the rain because what's the point in worrying about it? It's going to come, it's going to come. And now we have just arrived to the bottom of the ski station and the sunshine's come out. I can't believe we actually made it. It's time for an outfit change. I don't actually know if I can take the backpack up there because I'm not going to have my boots in it. It's going to hurt my back. You're I probably better with just digging it up anyway. Not carrying it. And using the board to dig yourself up. And walk up the side of this slope. Yeah, just for the lift up, yeah. Shit. outfit change I forgot my ski jacket and pants so I'm gonna have to just make do of this that's the ski lift that I'm not getting on see you later Woo. it's not even like 500 meters from the car this is already savage the only time I get overtaken on the slopes literally having to be bent over like this because I've got no grip on my boots so I just seem to slip back down where my money yeah woo started to struggle a bit so got the tunes on got the shades on for making distance y'all I just realised I'm actually walking up a red run too so cheers altitude is a big factor <laughs> pretty high up it's actually really windy <laughs> this this is savage um, that's how far I've got to go it's so close and that's how far I've already come There one complete. This is what you're meant to look like. This was the point that I had in mind to get to when I was at home. And I've got to say, about halfway up the slope, I was thinking there's just no way I can make this. Like physically, I don't think I can make it. Yeah, I just made it into like a little chunk of like, hey, to get to that tree. Then get to the next tree, just a massive little bounce, little gold, get there, get there. And yeah, here I am. <laughs> oh, I'm so ready for this run. I've been thinking about it since I left the house this morning.
wanted to do this today in under four hours. Yeah, that's right. Thank you. Dare yourself to do something this week.